Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. This is going to be your weekend reading. If you are new, please smash that like and subscribe button if you enjoy these readings that I do. Um, if you want to get a personal reading, there is a link in the description box below this video. Um, the rest of September, I do uh, have a discounted reading going, a special going, so do go ahead and grab that. And uh, yeah, if you want to buy me a cup of coffee, go ahead and do that too. And thank you to those of you who have been doing that. Okay, so let's take a look at Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So you're starting with Girl with a Snake. Okay, Empath and Narcissist Paradigm here. Being charmed or used, enabling, and boundaries. Okay, so let's take a look and see some type of dance between you and another person um can, like this is like conjoined twins they just told me i don't even know what that means two people who just keep um finding themselves drawn to each other engaging with one another kind of a codependent or very addictive type of a relationship let's see what messages showing up friday okay Wow, the moon, oh my goodness. Some hidden undercurrent. It feels like some undercurrent of emotion, um, mis mystery, mysteriousness. It's kind of like, what is going on? Someone saying to themselves, why can't I get away from this connection? Why can't I stop with this person? Um, why do I feel like there's so much unknown? This is kind of, yep, there you go. The High Priestess. These are two very mysterious, unknown type of energies, secrets, things that are hidden. Okay, yeah, this, this definitely coming to light on Friday for sure, or at least over the weekend. This, it feels more like a pull, a magnetic kind of a thing, an energy. This is like um, behind the veil uh, kind of thing showing up. What the heck? Let's see. All right. Wow. There you go. Eight of Cups. This is, you know, Virgo, I feel like uh, this is kind of like coming to an understanding that needing to separate from this kind of a connection or this type of a relationship, okay, or this type of energy okay needing to separate or get some clarity that eight of cups is always about withdrawal or retreat or moving on or feeling abandonment in it this feels like a very toxic energy there's pisces double pisces so there could be a connection with a pisces let's see here you know, Pisces is very much hidden energies, hidden, very hidden. Let's take a look. I want to get a clarifying card for the moon. Okay, Page of Swords. Okay, trying to get clarity about some... Virgo, I feel like, uh, especially on Friday, this is really like you... I feel like whether it's you or another person trying to seek and get clarity and answers about something that is hidden uh, within a connection, within a relationship, really trying to cut through some BS. And I feel like you, if it's you doing this, it looks like Friday, you're walking away. Like, uh, I don't know if you come to terms with something here, but it looks like you're walking away. To, to try to gain some clarity, like you're withdrawing, you're retreating, you're getting away from something here, whether it's your role in this, you know, your participation in this dance with another person. Yeah, that page of swords, that's a rough energy. This is like curiosity. This is like an energy of constantly seeking answers. You know, with that moon, it's like, always having that flashlight out in the dark, trying to shine light on the situation, trying to get some answers, trying to see in the dark. It's like, you know, 
with your eyes closed and when the light shines you can see the light but you can't make out any figures you can't see anything you just know that there's light you know I, I just feel like you're feeling your way you've been feeling your way through something and it looks like over this weekend you're just like you know I'm not I'm going somewhere where the sun is shining I'm tired of walking around here you are tired of walking around by the night by the light of the moon it's so dark you know what I mean and that's what I feel like has been happening. It looks like you're 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 getting out of the dark side of the moon. You've been walking along, walking around on the dark side of the moon in some kind of a relationship. And it looks like this weekend you retreat, you just at least get out. You go somewhere where it's daylight or the, the brighter side of the moon. You get out, you get away. You're not seeking these answers. You're just like, eh, that's it. Forget about it. There's not, nothing to see here. Just keep it moving. That's really the energy because I feel like everything's hidden on purpose. Somebody does not want you to see something. They do not want to reveal anything. Whatever they're revealing, it's strategically chosen for you to see in order to kind of, it's like a deterrent in order for you to not um, to dig any deeper but you know Virgo you're very intuitive and you get a feeling or you're picking up some kind of a sense that something's off and when something is off Virgo's more intrigued to find out what it is to some degree of course depending on where your placements are you might have Pisces placements so you might have a water placement or maybe you have Scorpio placement which makes you very inquisitive you could have air placement somewhere as well so yeah, Friday looks like, you know, it's it's kind of an energy of like when you're putting a puzzle together and the longer you stare at the puzzle, the harder it is to see the pieces that need to be put. You kind of have to step back and give your eyes a break and then come back to it a letter, at a later time with a fresh set of eyes just to be able to refocus to see it again if that's your choice um, sometimes you just need another set of eyes to be able to look at something uh, a situation in order to because I just feel like you've been looking at something for too long or dealing with something for too long and it's caused confusion you're trying to get clarity looks like this weekend you're like you know what I'm just going to leave it alone and just go about my business do whatever I need to do for this weekend so I can just kind of refresh <laughs> and come back to it maybe next week or at a later time okay so friday is definitely the beginning of that energy now saturday of coffin endings bring new beginnings so that's what i'm talking about and that kind of segues into saturday okay so just remember this doesn't th this is just an energy on friday um and so you apply it however it fits for you whatever you're trying to sort out some of you might be like investigators maybe you work in a crime uh, la or do something with crime or something as a job or you're trying to solve some kind of puzzle it could be that simple like you're legit have been trying to solve a puzzle like a game puzzle and you're just leaving it alone but either way um saturday's like nope putting the nail in the coffin with this thing saturday it's like you know like i need to end this here so i could have a new start with it i need to change i need to liberate myself from this thing so i can have like a, a new beginning with something here so let's take a look and see Yep, move away from it so I can have a fresh set of eyes to see, to look at this situation from a different point of view. Absolutely. So Saturday br will bring you some clarity, okay? A new opportunity for you to see this situation from a completely different point of view, but you, ha you get away you know, so the, the Six of Swords is more so like mentally getting away. Okay, this the Eight of Cups is more like um, emotionally detaching yourself from it. And the Six of Swords is like mentally detaching yourself from it. Okay, so. This feels like mentally relocating and putting yourself in a different place. And that's what that coffin is here, making change, right? So once you do 
And once you get yourself, it's almost like even if you put yourself in a geographical place mentally, I feel like that Ace of Pentacles is kind of like a light bulb. It, it's even, it glows kind of like you have a light bulb, like an aha moment on Saturday about this thing you're trying to figure out, like it comes to you and you're able to actually look at it and really study it and, and be, and like you just get this, this new idea, which is the Page of Pentacles. So this new idea comes to you, like from a different angle. You get this new idea and you get you get some clarity here and you and it's it's tangible. It's like you can touch it. You can you can actually like fiddle with it and play with it. And you're like, oh, I found the missing piece. This is the missing piece. So you find this missing piece. Saturday it comes to you. You know, for some of you it could be like something that you've lost and you've been seeking looking for it for such a long time. So here it is. See how he's holding it? He or she, here it is. Here's the missing piece. It just suddenly comes to you. Like from universe just brings it or spirit just brings it to you. Ah, here it is. You've been looking and looking and looking. Like I, you know, like I said, the more you look for something, the harder it is to find. And when you let go and stop looking for it, it just magically appears. And here it magically appears. So Saturday, boom, the answer comes. Now Sunday, you've got heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. So if this is in regards to a relationship, well, let's see. Oh, geez. What's going on here? Okay. Got a bunch of cards here. Okay. All right. So, okay, they're telling me right now here with this temperance card, this Sagittarius energy here. You also have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So I feel like what they're saying here is you got into some kind of relationship or a connection with someone that went really fast. Something went really, really, really fast where it looked like it was love or it was a karmic twin kind of thing but I feel like it looked like it looked like or it looks like love but it it, it really was maybe lust or it had the potential to go in that direction but I feel like it rushed too quick that's what I feel like uh, some something something was off that's what i'm saying something was off and that's the clarity that you get i don't know if this person that you connected with was already in another contract with another person and they might have come in rushing in with this whole love thing now they might not have actually been in another physical contract with another person they may have just been in a um a mental contract or they had another, um, so in other words, like for an example, they might have still had reservations for someone from their past, or um, they may have said or given you the impression that something was going to go forward with you two, but maybe it was a rebound kind of situation. There's just something that, and these are just examples. If it resonates for you, it could very well be that, but it may, they're just mostly examples. I just feel like the person that you were connecting with, that you felt something was off with, I feel like you're going to come to realize that it wasn't, it was, t it, it, it wasn't, it was it, the timing. It wasn't the right time. You know, some, it wasn't the right time. And I feel like this person was in some kind of other contract with another person. There's something wasn't finished. They had an unfinished thing with someone else and they rushed into something with you. Maybe they were love bombing. Um, that Knight of Wands, very lusty kind of energy, especially that Eight of Wands, very, um, that's a love bombing energy. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. I want to be with you. But it's just something not right here. Something not right here. And I feel like you might have been kind of delaying heartbreak or delaying knowing what you need to do or trying to make something work here, but realizing this whole time that it wasn't going to work, but trying to kind of hold it up or hoping that it might work. So maybe it will later. I'm not seeing that it won't. I just feel like this weekend is kind of like, you know, your energy is about dealing with the situation, like putting that nail in the coffin so you can get yourself free. So you're not focusing so much time 
on this relationship here with this page of swords trying to figure out what's wrong what's wrong what's wrong and maybe you don't need to really have an answer maybe the answer is just that something's off and that's enough that's the answer instead of trying to figure out what exactly is off maybe just accepting that something is off and it doesn't feel right and saying I'm going to just accept that as the answer and just let it go. Okay. That might be what you come to. And I think maybe you weren't accepting and you do finally come to accept that answer. And you might have been just kind of saying, well, no, I got to find out exactly what it is because, you know, maybe my person just has like childhood issues. And maybe if I just nurture them more then the relationship, you know, I could save this, but it's not your job to save that person. Because if someone, you know, if they're not healed to to show up and be present for a relationship fully with you, that's not your responsibility to fix them. Do you know what I mean? You can receive them and you can give them love and you can direct them if you sense something is off and you can be compassionate towards them if they're struggling but if they're not opening up to tell you whether they know about it or not like you you're not a savior do you know what i mean you know I, i'm not trying to say that you don't have the gift of helping people you do but i just feel like you're spinning your wheel you're like a hamster spinning your wheel in a hamster cage and time is going by here so it feels like this weekend you kind of come to that you know like Maybe I just need to say to myself, you know what? I, I give up. I don't know what's going on. And I think maybe I just come to this idea on this weekend that that's enough for me. There's something's off. It's a big giant question mark over this person's head. And they're not opening up and sharing things with me. And that's the choice that they're making. And now I have to make my choice. And look, the bottom of the deck here. This person might be a runner and uh, maybe they do have like some kind of codependency issues or there's some manipulation or there's some kind of narc stuff going on or maybe they're like a, an empath but they use it for manipulation type of ways and stuff like that victim kind of stuff you know so i mean with the seven of swords that is a, a sense of trickery that's a sense of betrayal self dishonesty or someone who just runs away you know and the question, why are they running away? Why are they running away? You know? So sometimes it's just, I guess it's for you maybe here about just looking, um, calling a spade a spade and not trying to figure out why it's a fucking spade. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me bleep that out. Calling a spade a spade rather than trying to figure out why it's a spade. Does it matter why it's a spade? Even if you find out why it's a spade, what does that change? If, if someone, if you know why this person is a spade and you tell them this is why you're a spade if they're not going to do anything about it does it matter you have to look after yourself right and I, it looks like i mean i'm not trying to be preachy i'm sorry if i say i'm like oh my god i'm preaching stop preaching i'm not trying to be that way i'm just saying it feels like you take a look at that this weekend here you know and you can still love people you can you can love people even if they're a little off but you can also love yourself at the same time it doesn't have to be a trade-off all right, let's see. We're in 20 minutes, so I feel like that's the message. I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> you know what? I'm getting old. I just need a nap. I'm telling you, it's Thursday. Some people are like, nope, going out, going to go have dinner, going to go do my thing. Nope, Miss House of Virgo is going to take a nap. I love naps. Just get me in my blankets, put on some little crime show. Get some popcorn. I'm good. Just cozy up in my sweatpants and my sweats and my hoodies. And just the weather's getting a little cold now. Get on my big old socks and <laughs> have a nap. So, yeah, you guys, go leave that there for you. And uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. I hope you sort some stuff out for yourself this weekend. Hope you love yourselves and hope you have a happy birthday and that you um, love each other. Have a great weekend. Do something fun for yourself this weekend. Or just something, you know, if it's not fun, just, just do something that you enjoy. Do something nice for yourself, Virgo. And I will see you back here on Sunday. Uh, happy and refreshed and raring to go. All right, you guys. Take care. Love you. Bye.